good morning from a sunny Cadwell Park. I've got the mighty BMW with me. It's the first track day of the year for me. We're going to go and have some fun. It's ideal that I've got one of the best circuits in the world half an hour's drive from my house. And even the drive here from Link across Lincolnshire is just bloody lovely. Um, it's a bit cold, a bit dewy, so first session might be uh, a little bit damp in places. I'm looking forward to getting out of there. Just on the sighting laps, it's still cold. Uh, there's a few little damp patches here and there. Uh, there's a new section of tarmac going into the chicane that looks damp, but it might just be because it's new tarmac. But I thought all I'm actually doing is cooling down my tyres because we're not going fast enough to keep any tyre temperature. So I thought I'll just do the sighting laps and pull back in again. Bikes back on warmers and we'll go for a proper session next time. Just come back in from the first proper session, even that got red flag because uh, I think a few people think it's summer and must be trying too hard. Time out's cold so there's no prizes today and people seem to be getting carried away. Uh, good fun. Ooh, me shoulders and my arms and bits aren't, uh, aren't used to it yet so I'm taking a little bit of warming up. Feeling a bit sort of stiff and a bit uncomfortable on the bike but that'll come. Uh, and, and my riding's just slow at the moment. I'm, my turn-ins are too early, not really committed, not really any lean angle, uh, especially through the lefts because I'm a bit paranoid about tyre temperature even though it seemed all right. Um, I'm running the tyre pressures a little bit higher than normal because it's cold and that is the correct way to do it. And it's good fun, just need to pull my pace up, put my finger out my bum, have a go. Just on the third session, track's getting drier. Uh, Pretty much dry everywhere now, really, just unless you're uh, offline. Tyres are working better, I'm um, beginning to a lot of warm up, beginning to move a little bit easier on the bike. Yeah, we're getting there. I think I'll put the camera on the bike for the next one as well. Uh, lunchtime now, got to fuel the rider up as much as you got to fuel the bike up, so I've got a bit of pack up with me. Last session before lunch was pretty good, obviously, got going, but first lap, red flags again because somebody fell off on cold tires around the gooseneck and it was actually the same person who fallen off the session before and got a red flag so we're going to find him in the paddock and kick him really hard in the Sweeney's. Yeah, enjoying it though. Getting a little bit quicker each time. Good fun. As you can see, the sun's come out again, which is nice. Track's a little bit warmer. First session after lunch, got out a little bit earlier in the session, so that was a little bit better. And then, uh, yeah, just having a bit of fun. Lap time's a little bit better, yeah, pushing on. Good fun.
mid afternoon, we've had like the middle afternoon session, a bit more consistent with lap times, the rear tyres are about knackered. Another red flag because the sun came out and everybody thought it was the middle of summer. I've got next to me track day Bob. It's it's not it's not ironic, the bloke literally lives here. Bob, being a Scotsman, I assume you're here at this time of year because the track's cheap. That's exactly why I'm here. Good. What are you riding, Bobby? CB500. Is that because it's cheap? Yeah. Crack it. <laughs> in from the last session yeah actually best session of the day because loads of people go home because they get tired or they've had enough or whatever um, I'm gonna stay all day because I've paid my money and I want my laps uh, back tires past its best it's just sort of picking up here on the grain and it's it's not knackered but it's a TT tire and it's past its best you can just feel it when you're trying to get the throttle open it's just holding back a little bit um, but no other than that going all right some decent laps Bobby's on the prowl, so I better go. Back at Cadwell for day two of our uh, test session for the races we're not allowed to go to anymore. Today we're on the twin. Uh, had a little bit of an issue with noise test earlier. Uh, I hadn't brought a baffle with me, uh, so I did the old trick of wedging a coat can down the silencer, which would have worked better if it hadn't fired it at the noise tester during the second noise test. But then I managed to get a screw in baffle and we're sorted now. Uh, just done a couple of laps shakedown very different to ride to the BMW. Uh, really steady warming tyres up, but yeah, it'd be good fun. Uh, it was just after the first session after lunch. So far it's been a busy day because we're playing around with, uh, with the setup quite a lot. So fiddling with quick shifters, gear linkages, suspension settings, we've had air gap changes, gearing changes. Uh, it's a bit busy. Uh, luckily nobody's falling off today. There's uh, only been one red flag so far and that was for a breakdown. So the track time's good. It is quite hectic though, uh, spanning the bike in between. But that's yeah, going all right. We're keeping Robert busy. We've got one session to go on the twin. Oof, didn't totally come past me. Uh, he's here on a G6000 road bike in the last session. Came past me down the start finish straight, unsurprisingly. Um, oh, I've never seen anybody that deep in the first corner. Proper, uh, a lot of lean angle, a little bit wide and the thing didn't come around and when it touched the throttle it was uh, it was exciting to watch um, but no we've got one session left looking forward to it I'm just concentrating on my riding now we've moved settings a little bit to try and get the bike to steer a little bit quicker 
uh, but we've got a little bit of an issue with radiator clearance so I can't move the forks where I want them. Um, but yeah, it's going well, bikes running faultlessly now, other than ignoring the uh, quick shifter. But yeah, looking pretty good. up after two days on track ready to go home we've learned some stuff the BMW's been faultless as ever it's just worked perfectly I've run the same bike for four years near enough so um, we've got a setup and stuff already so it's easy uh, I, all I need to do is go faster on it uh, the twin's been a little bit different we've worked through a load of testing bits we've tried change gearing suspension uh, a few uh, quick shifter settings and bits we have got a few niggles with it, we've got a sort of also got to change my riding style a bit because I've spent so long sort of riding 600s and thousands. I've got to get much more in the habit of uh, running more corner speed. So a bit of it's me, a bit of it is I've got to adjust the bike so it gives me the confidence to do that. But it will all come, we've got ideas. So now we've got no racing to do, we can do loads of testing. Silver linings.